Yeah, first of all, it's, it's obviously been quite a unique week with uh, the Queen passing away, um, and obviously that led to the postponement of the game last weekend. I mean, how has that affected the players and your preparations uh, going into this game this weekend? Yeah, we're obviously disappointed because we worked all last week to, to play on, on the Saturday, but you know, these things in life are these things happen. Um, so the players had a couple of days off, um, but they prepared as they would for any other normal game, same preparation, same period of time in the training pitch. So, yeah, not really much disruption for us. And you yourself continue to be an interim charge. Um, I know you'll be fed up answering this question, but I mean, have you had any more talks with Tony Ashkar or the board about your position going forward? I had a quick conversation with Tony um, on Monday, and it was just carry on as proceeded until otherwise. How much would you, now that you've had a chance to have, you know, a bit of time under your belt with the players in charge, how much would you like this uh, position on a permanent basis? Well, all I can say is I've, I've enjoyed the last three weeks. Um, but it's not up to me whether I am given the opportunity or not. That's up to the people um, above me in the football club. So until they make a decision on where they see see the club is going and what direction they're going, and um, that will be their decision to make. And the players, certainly speaking to them, seem to you know would would like to see you given the role. Do you see the the sort of response from them to you? Has it been really positive since you've come in? Because obviously it's been a very difficult time for everyone. Yeah, it's been difficult. It's been challenging. Um, Listen, I think if you guys asked the players, they would probably say that anyway, whether they want me to get the job or not, let's, let's be honest. But um, yeah, it's been difficult, it's been challenging, but I've enjoyed it. Um, and we've got a big game to look forward to, and a very tough game to look forward to on Saturday. So that's, again, it's not very exciting for you guys, but that, that is, that's my main focus. And you must be delighted this week as well to have so many players called up for international duty. It's, mm -hmm. you know, what is a bit of a tough time for the club, it just mm -hmm. shows, you know, that you know, either on the club for good reasons as well. Yeah, listen, delighted for these guys. They'll go away and um, hopefully they have some, some good experiences when they're away. It's great to have so many involved in international squads. It's good for them individually, it's good for the club. Um, and uh, long may that continue. And as you say, a big game this weekend against Rangers who were beaten last night in the mm -hmm. Champions League. I mean, how do you think that will affect them going into the game? What are you expecting in this match? I think whenever you go to uh, Ibrox and Parkhead, they're always very difficult venues to go and take points from. Um, but they need to go there with a belief and a, a belief in, uh, amongst the staff and the players and everybody together that they've got an opportunity to go and take something. But we do that going into every game, so um, we'll try and be as positive as we can. But we're fully aware of how many um, good players that Rangers have. So listen, they, they may have lost a few games, but that doesn't make them bad players. How important has the last couple of games been in terms of just Stopping the damage, if you like, repairing yeah. confidence in the players. Yeah, I think the, obviously the Celtic result was uh, was a bad one. So they they had a quick turnaround to the Livingston game and they managed to to get a good performance, which led to a good result. And then the Motherwell game, if we were honest, we we were we were good without the ball. Um, and what I mean by that is we defended our box and we kept a clean sheet. We had to improve on possession. So we've now won two games where we've not been beaten. So that was important. It gives the players a wee bit of confidence, a wee bit of belief, but they need to keep pushing on and need to keep building. Just touch on before, this is probably one of the worst places to go, given what's happened to our against Celtic in terms of if things aren't right, it could go haywire. Yeah, but I think you run the risk whenever you play against top teams that that could happen. Um, as I said previously, they've got they've got some top players, they've got a very good manager. So, um, but as I've spoken to. The players this week, and since I've come in, it's about what we do. So I, I'm not worrying about what, what Rangers are going to do. It's about how we perform, about the the way that we set up, and hopefully we can put on a performance. People might look in from the outside and say, "Well, what's happened? United are next, and no manager's going to want that." But you're in there just now. Is, mm -hmm. it, is it a good job to have? Is it a good position for the club in terms of what it can be going forward? I, I think so. Yeah, I think that the, the group of players that's got, I think that there's a good, I think there's a very decent group of players there. Um, and we've, we've had a couple of um, difficult months. It's, but everybody's entitled to their opinions and everybody's entitled to their, to their beliefs of where they think there is. I can only speak from, from the inside, but I think there's a good group of players and I think it's a really good football club. And uh, whoever gets the job um, will inherit both these things and uh, a good opportunity for somebody. And uh, injury-wise for the weekend? Or no, all, okay. All clean bill of health. Everybody's been, been training now for a period of time, which is good. Um, competition's good. Um, made it clear to the players that they need to train, train properly every day to, to give themselves the best chance of 
between any team on a, on a Saturday. So yeah, that's a no complaint there. Have you been given any indication of when a decision might happen? I haven't actually, no. I haven't. I, like I said, I spoke to Tony at the start of the week and it was just just carry on doing what you're doing until they make a decision on what path they're going to go down. Just a, a quick one for myself, obviously, off the back of two kind of great results and, and performances given what's come before as well. Mm-hmm. It's a bit frustrating not to, to have the game at the weekend and be able to build momentum, but I suppose, as you say, you've got more time on the, the training ground with the players to work with them and yeah. put even more focus into this. Yeah, listen, there's always positives and, and negatives. Um, I think everybody was disappointed that they didn't have the game last week. We totally understand the reasons why. No issue with that at all. Absolutely fine. Um, so it gave us a wee bit extra time to get ourselves ready um, for this weekend, which you guys have already said is a very difficult venue to go. And considering going into this game previously, if you know, things had remained as they were, Rangers would have played an extra game themselves, so mm-hmm. perhaps had to, to use you know a bit, bit more fitness energy, rotate the team a little bit more. So mm-hmm. I suppose is that a little bit frustrating not having them as well, having played an extra game? <sighs> to be honest with you, they, they've got a, a very very big squad and they can make a number of changes, and it's not really going to affect the quality that they bring in. So. And that is what it is. First of all, it's it's been quite a unique week um, across the country, and obviously that led to the the cancellation of the games last week with the teams passing. I mean, how has it affected the players at all in your preparations uh, for the match? Uh, well, the preparations have probably been exactly the same, to be honest. Uh, we tried to make the most of uh, Saturday, having a bounce game, and just uh, trying to get ninety minutes and get all the fitness work done. So obviously we probably felt like we were in a decent enough, enough position to face Hibs last Saturday, but then obviously it got postponed and uh, gave us a bit more time to work on what we needed to work on. So I think um, we've tried to capitalize on the chance to train a bit more, but obviously it's different circumstances. So. And you'll be looking forward then to get back into playing matches this weekend and it doesn't come much bigger than against Rangers? No, definitely. It's uh, it's a big game. Obviously, it's uh, great always to uh, see big uh, crowds and stadiums and it's fun playing these types of games. So I think we're all looking forward to it, trying to keep our uh, form going upright like it's been the last two day, uh, games. Uh, so we'll be trying to do our best and just enjoy the occasion. And it's been a, a good week for you being called into the Finland squad as well. How delighted are you about that? Uh, very delighted. Uh, there was probably a few nerves maybe uh, going from last year, not playing much and starting this season on the bench as well. And just getting the call up is, uh, I guess it's a bit of a sign of trust as well from their side. And uh, just a reassurance for myself that I've got the quality in me and just to keep going and one of those happy moments when when you've uh, been down probably because of the results with the team and everything. So it's one of those uh, uh, silver linings, I guess. And I mean, obviously, you know, as you say, you started the, the season on the bench, but you got your chance and, you know, you've stuck there. How determined are you and how, you know, essential is it for you that you keep your place there <laughs> between the six? Uh, obviously, I want to do everything to keep my place in the team and, uh, perform well and help uh, help the team perform well but right now we obviously have to accept the situation that everything has to be done to get the team back on track and to get three points from as many games as possible and just to uh, improve our situation in the table as well but obviously I'd, I'd prefer to help the team by playing well and uh, performing well and doing my part so that's basically like everyone, everybody wants to do that, everybody wants to get in the team, but I feel like right now we have to put the team uh, before the individual more than ever. And obviously we're still, um, see Dundee United are still on the search for a new manager. Um, how unsettling a time has that been for the players? Because obviously you had a manager in um, who went very quickly and now you know, Liam Fox in interim charge at the moment. You know, how has it been for the players? I think, I think that the fact that Fox is taken over for now uh, has been probably a good thing, like as in it's been a soft blow in a way because Foxy knows us all from last year and everyone everyone's got a relationship with him from before, so it's not like we've not been thrown into deep and uh, the deep end with a new new person, new gap, and new everything. Like it's it's one of those where Foxy kind of knows where we are mentally and he knows where we are physically and tactically and everything. So it's. It's been one of those transitions that's uh, 
probably a bit easier than it uh, could be in the worst case scenario, but obviously we know about uh, talks going around on that, but I, I don't think that affects us too much. We just want to keep the results going and yeah, that's where our main focus is. And given that um, continuity that you spoke about, I mean, h how much would you like to see Liam Fox being handed the role permanently? Because obviously he's one of the, the, the names strongly linked with the permanent position. Yeah, well, uh, I'm not one to make decisions in the club, obviously, but um, I like having uh, I liked having Fox around last year as well. He was he uh, was very good to me last year, and uh, I think uh, he's done well for the two games so far. And we've taken a bit of a well cynical approach in a way. We just wanted to get the points and get the results back on track and stuff like that. So uh, he's done the job well so far. If you ask me and that's my personal opinion but I don't really want to go into detail about who should uh, be in charge in the future. Thank you. Uh, just in a general sense from being a player at Dundee United over the past month, two months, how has it been? Because I mean six weeks ago you beat Alkmaar, you had that massive high and then so much has changed in that period. I mean what's it been like being in the dressing room in that period? Uh, well I mean we've all probably been in dressing rooms where Things have been going our way, and then all of a sudden they haven't been going our way. Uh, I've had, I think I've had 12 head coaches the last eight years or something like that, so it wasn't exactly a new situation for me, sadly. I know that's not that's probably not a track record to be too proud of, but um, it's obviously it's not fun being uh, like feeling on top of the world and then getting shot down harder than ever before. But I think we've done what we can as a group of players talked about it like what are we feeling when we're on the pitch how do we feel when we're training where do we think that things have gone wrong and what are the things that we are actually doing right that we can still kind of try and use but it's been a weird period definitely but at the same time it's probably one of those that we've all been in it before but the numbers have just been worse than ever for anyone like talking about the Alkmaar game then Hearts St. Mirren, Celtic, like all of those are obviously disappointing results. Uh, there's no other way to put it. And it, w it would be another case if we'd, we'd lost them 1 0, 2 0. But at the same time, that would have given us as many points. I'm not saying it's any better to lose 2 0 than 7 0, but obviously there needed to be a reaction. I suppose it's natural that people look in from the outside and say, oh, there must be something wrong in the dressing room. But from your perspective, has everything been okay in the dressing room in terms of everybody being together? And yeah, I think so. I, I haven't noticed anything like out of the ordinary. Like everyone's, uh, I think everyone's really committed to the task. And we've, I think we've been very open and transparent about how the players feel about things and where we are as a team and where we were as a group when we started the season and where we were as a group uh, during last year when we finished fourth and I mean I don't want to throw any comparisons in there but I think we all felt that we were in quite a good place and uh, this shocked us as much as anyone else these results and yeah the past few weeks were tough obviously. Yeah, obviously things went a wee bit haywire for a couple of weeks with results was Jack okay as a manager or were there issues there or was there anything that you saw that wasn't quite working or? <laughs> no, I, I wouldn't say there was an, there was any issues. I, I personally, I, I felt like we had uh, a decent setup for the season and uh, tactically I felt, especially the first games like Kilmarnock and Alkmaar at home, we did well. Uh, we were tactically very solid and uh, stuff like that so I think it was just the fact that we got beat so badly at Alkmaar on a night where they scored from everything and we got a real bad hit in our confidence and just went downhill from there so I don't think uh, like obviously the manager's usually the one who ends up taking the blame uh, even though there are 11 players on the pitch as well and uh, many on the bench and even some in the stands so I, I don't think it's fair to point out like one person or one single issue. I think it was more of a just just something not clicking at after the Alkmaar game. In, in essence, it was I think that was the changing point for some reason. It's just been a tough period with the goalkeeper. Obviously, Mark lost a lot of goals in Alkmaar and obviously the Celtic game and what have you. Has it been difficult mentally dealing with that? Uh, yeah, in a way, uh, you never want to let 
nine goals in or seven or three or what what not you you want to keep a clean sheet every game so it, it hasn't been fun exactly but i think like both mark and i felt that when you get trashed seven nil or nine nil you kind of you obviously look in the mirror and think what how much is there that i could have done better and Certainly, there are parts for both of us, but at the same time, you don't get beat nine nil just because of bad goalkeeping. Mm. So, uh, it's tough. It's tough, and you don't want to go there. But I think it's the most important thing is to try and go forward from that with confidence and just let the defenders feel that you're still confident. You have the trust in yourself because you need them to believe in you, and just it'll just go as a domino effect from there. That, that they have their confidence back and. We get our confidence back, and that's we've taken the first steps, like against Motherwell, uh, keeping a clean sheet there. So it is tough, but it's manageable. How has Mark been? Obviously, he's had a very tough start to his Dundee United career. He's lost his place. Have you had to be there for him and sort of help him through it? I guess, in a way, probably. But at the same time, I had like it wasn't an easy time for me either, and he was there for me, so I want to be there for him as well. Uh, because I was obviously expecting to go into this season and uh, I wanted to start uh, from the first game onwards but it didn't happen and that's that's part of football we're both uh, we're both uh, professionals in that sense we know what football is like as a business and a, as a goalkeeper you're in and then next day you might be out so we know how tough it might be so we feel sympathy for each other but at the same time we've both got to kind of like think about our own race as well and that's that's what i was talking about like putting the team in front of us and just being there for each other